Hi everybody, how you doing? Doom. 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 Doom has descended upon the land. Where am I going? I want the wraith first. The wraith is over there. Okay. So we got to remember we got to go to those boxes too because they're protected by the nighttime death stuff. Should have a wraith down here somewhere. Hello, you're not a wraith. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Right? Where are we in terms of Wraith World? Oh, he's behind me somewhere. Okay, he's over here. What? Jeez. That's just... Bah. Just... Bah. Alright, where's this Wraith? Yo! Wraithy dude! Where are you? You're that way? You're apparently this way. Okay. Oh, you're up on the hill, huh? Alright. Ah, oh, there you are! Oi, mate! What are you doing out here? I have lost my way. The sound of the bell will guide you. <sighs> All right. He's the only one, so let's... He is the only one, right? Yep. He's the only one. All right. Let's go. Boink. Where are you? Gibbon. Where is the Gibbon? Oh, there he is. <laughs> right there. Oi. Captain Wilkinson hasn't returned. Where'd you last see him? He went to gather firewood. Who are you? Samuel Mallard. All right. Do you recognize this wood carving? I was whittling in the past the time. I was anxiously anxious, wondering whether the captain would return. He was late coming back. Um, I found a deerskin shoe near a scene of a... No, wait. Let's see. Do you recognize this dented helmet? It's the captain's. I found a scene of violence not far from here. And the savage just killed him. Ah, that's terrible. I found a battleground near here. It was like fighting ghosts. The savages rise up out of the grass, fire the arrows, and then disappear before you could even take aim. Stramo was stuck in a tree. I was reloading it when one of them popped up right in front of me. I didn't think. I just fired. Then I was sitting on the ground, my shoulder throbbing, and my mouth tasted like blood. Captain Wilkinson told me to get up and fight. He said it, he said it like I was a coward. Eh, yeah, well. I found a deerskin shoe near a scene of violence to the east of here. Remember an Indian girl, maybe 15 years old. She was naked except for one shoe. It didn't. I didn't like the way she was staring at me, so I ran away. Yeah. All right. So, gotta have a drink of water. Ah, all right. Let's start with. Um, well, the easy one would be the captain. I think that's the captain. Whoever that is, that'd be the easy one. But. Yeah, let's start there, then go to there, because we can jump to that, check that out, and then jump, or even walk to there, and then jump back to here, and then go here and here. Yeah, that makes sense. Boom. Whew, all right, we're here. Now, where is this guy? Mm, where are you? Uh, you're, you should be this way. Okay. Right? You should be I should be like right on top of you. Okay, I got an explosive. That's good. Where is this guy? Oh, there you are. 
No, that's not him. Okay. Where is he? Uh oh, oh, there we go. All right, according to this, I've now missed my target. Well, that's odd. Well, where's dude? Oi, have you seen somebody? What color? What? Where? Ah! Pain in the butt. Alright, we'll come back to this idiot then. Fine, we're going to the Lone Tower. Okay, we're at the Lone Tower. This dude is that way. We'll have to come back to that other guy. Assuming we can find this guy, of course. Hello, Shadow. Do you know? I haven't seen it. The shadow crime. Where's the shadow? Okay. The shadow's supposed to be right here. Okay. That's odd. I wonder if it has to be done in a specific order. All right, we're going to go for the Indian girl now. Jerk. <laughs> uh, that was great. Okay, we got that stuff. Now, if I continue in this, so if I continue slightly like this, other than the tree in front of me, I can D, D, whatever that thing. Wait a minute, what's this? I thought you were. Shadow, let us rouse you from your slumber. I am sundered and cannot rest. Sundered, profane, defiled, robbed of my head by a demon who meant to wear my skull as an ornament. And I shall seek to get it back. Alright, that was interesting. Wasn't what I was expecting, but okay. And if I continue in this way, I shall get to that chest. There it is right there. Okay. That's not it. Is that it? No, that's not it. Where is it? Oh my gosh, it's over here. There it is. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to scream, I bet you. All right. Here comes the attackers. From which direction now. Ah. 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 Ah.
Okay. All right. That was uh all right. Sorry, I had to stop talking on that one. It was just like I got to I got to deal with this. I deal with this problem of mine. All right. Chest. Water skin. Great, I already have one, but great. Oh wait, I've got Ooh, I got extra water skins. Okay, that's good. All right, we're going this way to get the girl. Extra water skin. That actually is a great thing now that I know what it does. Where do you think she is? Stop here. Check the map. Oh, we're almost. We're not even close. Well, I mean, we are in a way, but strolling through the deadly night, full of. I'll say that the fog wasn't lifting, but yeah, it lifted. Okay, how close are we? All right, she should be past two trees. Where is she? Where? Where? There. The thief escaped. Well... Okay. What is that? Hello! Hello, I've been looking for you. Wow! Hi! What the blazes? Oh, I got a skull. My friend, let me talk to you. Who are you? Oh, wait, no, that's me. Who are you? Found an unadorned, inexpensive looking sheath for a large knife. Okay. Okay. I guess we're going back to the sentry. Now, you know what? Let's go up here. Let's go to Hilltop Camp. All right. <sighs> now we gotta find this idiot. I kind of want to think that they should be around this general area. Or do I need to talk to the guy back at base? I bet you I gotta talk to him first. Let's go back here and talk to the Wraith. Yo, Wraith face. I found this knife sheath where the Indian girl was killed. I remember watching Isaac Cantrell draw his knife. He had the girl pinned to the ground, but she wasn't even struggling, just looking at him. I was begging him to let her go, but he stabbed her so hard I heard the blade scrape the rock under her. Why? Why did he have to do that? Indeed. Why the heck did he have to do that? All right, let's check our journal really quick. Clues. Let's see the battleground. Okay. The bell. Yes, the black pearl. Coin. Deer skin shoe. Dented helmet. Firewood. All right. Arrow and wood carving. Okay, so we got all that stuff marked. People. Isaac. Murdered Indian girl. He's a jerk. And the graves. Okay. Notes. Send me the sentry post. We're not done yet. Sentry saw a dark shape. Splinters in the night. Even you can't use can kill mockingbirds or something like that. What else? Searching. Oh, searching for my arm and that. Okay. Investigations. Captain Wilkins and the Indian girl. Okay. Um. All right, so Captain Wilkins, Isaac Cantrell. Who the heck was Isaac now? All right, so we talked to him. That wraith is gone. So let's go to the hilltop camp and see if that... Aha! Oh, so this has to be in a particular order. 
Why did they kill the captain? What do you mean? These savages, why did they blame him? He never touched a girl. Is this knife sheath yours? It is. But you are Isaac Cantrell. That's right, I remember now. You killed an Indian girl. The captain swore he'd hang any man that ravished his savage women. She would have told someone what was done to her. You raped her? We both did, me and Samuel. What happened to you? Remember a savage showing me a finger with a ring on it. It's the captain's ring, so I asked why he killed him, and he said revenge for his sister. I tell him the captain never touched her. It was me. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground, and he was plunging his knife down again and again. You deserved it. Good Lord, did you deserve it. All right. Let's, uh, presumably... Oh, he's still there, technically. Um, let's go back here. Let's talk to Century Post Boy here. Uh, you raped the Indian girl. I suppose that you suppose you did. Seriously, I can remember her lying there watching me. Why me? Why not Isaac? Uh, she's naked except for one shoe. She was bleeding bad from where Isaac stabbed her. She was trying to say something, but all that came out of her mouth was bloody bubbles. I didn't like the way she's staring at me, so I ran away. Richard Wilkins was killed in retaliation for what was done to her. He wanted revenge, but he told them he would find the culprit himself and see him hanged in accordance with English law. Yeah. Dude, if you were if you weren't already undead, I'd kill you. Uh should I talk to him or should I talk let's go see if he's here. Okay, he's not. So presumably I need to go talk to the captain first. So let's go to Lone Tower. <sighs> Fine pickle that we find ourselves in. Dealing with these stupid people. Why don't people just leave people alone? It's not that difficult of a concept. I don't understand this need to be a jerk. Hello! Hello, Captain. Captain, my Captain. I sent those men to die. Which men? The soldiers under my command. They died because of me. Because I sent them out of the fort. I said Englishmen shouldn't cower behind walls. Does it sound like yours? Yes. Then you are Captain Wilkinson. Yes, I'm Richard Wilkinson. What happened to you? I could feel myself screaming, but I heard nothing. So much pain, I couldn't breathe. One of the savages opened my visor, leering at me, holding something up so that I could see. It was a hand. It wore my ring. I realized I was screaming again. I was sinking into darkness. I let it go. This was what I deserved. He called Samuel Mallard a coward. I saw him on the ground. I thought he'd thrown himself down in fear. I apologized afterward. He said their blood was on my hands. He said it should have been my blood. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Should we go to here? Now, let's see. Do we go back? Let's go back to this guy. And if he doesn't do anything, then to... Ah, screw it. Go here first. All right, he's not there. I didn't think he would be. Let's go back to Sentry Post. <sighs> Oi, Gromit. You told Richard Wilkinson it should have been his blood that was spilled. And I certainly, and I made certain that it was. I remember I was whittling it to pass the time. I was anxious, wondering whether he would return after I told those savages that it was him that raped and killed the girl. He was late coming back. I really want to shoot you and kill you right now, but you're already dead, so that's kind of beside the point. Oh my god. What is wrong with these people? Uh, so Isaac and Samuel and Richard. Yay. Uh, okay. That's fun. Uh, last thing we really need to do then. Actually, let's see if this guy's still here. I don't know. Maybe he is. No. Oh, okay. All right, so let's jump to the Lone Tower. And from here, I guess it's equidistant. We're going to go basically due west to pick up that chest. Slightly south, but basically due west. Kind of like my, my bow better than I like the guns. Mainly because my bow can shoot fast. Fast, fast. All right, so really, 
really, these people are a bunch of freaking fools. Ah, we should have guessed that, huh? What is this? Skull, perhaps you can, if you pull harder. Come here, skull face. <laughs> Alrighty. Took care of that. Oh, God. Not again. What? Ow. Where'd that come from? Oh. <laughs> Jerk. Okay. That was fun. Fun not really being the operative word there, but whatever. Uh, map. Go this way. So I just apparently pull skulls out of the ground now. It's my hobby. I am a skull puller. That is my hobby. That's a scary hobby. Okay. Where's this stupid chest? Just this way. Okay. So, how do you do with these? I wonder if, if eventually I'll actually pull that guy's skull up. Or if it's just like a, you know... I don't know, like a side quest type thing? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, come on, I can't even see ya. Err. Stop it. Missed. I didn't. <laughs> Did you see him jump over that wall? Err. Wow. Okay. That was nice and fun. That was not... No. Just... No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright. Yay! We found all the treasure chests. Alright, let's jump back to there. Alright. And... Quiet. Red, how you doing, girl? Hold on, let me get a drink of water really quick. And also, let me buy some stuff. I'll be right with you, okay? <sighs> Alright, so in my inventory, do I have anything I can get rid of? No. Alright, so back to the store. I need... Um, not too worried about that or that, honestly. It's the longbow stuff I really need. All right, good. All right, so that's that's fine. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, Red, how's it going? I remember we stayed at this fort for a couple days. The men's station here were grim and sullen. My mother told my sister and I not to go out alone. I was glad to leave. I've learned the fate of the Wraith. What did you learn? Samuel Maller blamed a crime he participated in on his captain, partly to avenge the needless death of his comrades and partly to hide his own guilt. I think that a man who finds himself regretting his own deeds would be forgiving of the mistakes of others. Yeah, I have a gift for you. What is it? Um, a crude figure that Samuel Wright carved. It is grotesque. Why are you giving it to me? Um, in case you want to make something with it, then I shall keep it. Excellent. Okay, cool. Alrighty. I think we're ready to move. Uh, we got to go and explore. Push to the, um, what direction is this? West. Push to the west! Go west, young man! Should we do that next time, maybe? I think we will. I think this one has been a particularly taxing pain in the butt. Um, next time we will push west! Did I reload this? Yes, I did. Did I reload this? 
Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. I actually do need to buy stuff for those. I do actually need to buy musket load and pistol load. There we go. There we go. Now we've got everything we need, Red. Now we got everything we need, Red. All right. Next time we venture west. Go west, young man. Go west.